Hi, I'm Tony Spine of Hillside Christmas Tree Farm, and today we are kind of prepping our trees for planting. Um, one of the things that we do that maybe not all farmers do is we butt prune our, butt prune our trees before they go in the field. Um, we started doing this maybe well, three, four years ago, and there wasn't any noticeable difference in survival rate. And essentially what we're doing is taking, this is a Black Hill Spruce, a tree that looks like this, and you know the ground would be about here and we we're kind of trimming up some some of the butts um the last video i did was us cleaning up the spruce field in the field we went with loppers and cut all that stuff so one of the things we're hoping to achieve is not having to do that in the future along with you know getting the fertilizer and weed control and uh mammals you know voles and mice and rabbits kind of get rid of their habitat that's underneath the trees. So this is what it kind of looks like before. And when we're all done, this is a, uh, we're taking quite a bit off and this is what it looks like after. So again, the ground's here. We got a good, you know, eight, eight inches of stump, nice handle, um, weed control. So that's what we're doing today. So we'll do that to all the trees. I think all together we have about 2,200 trees this year. Uh, between the spruce and the fir. So I want you to hang out and kind of, you know, I'm gonna talk as I'm doing things, things that I see, reason why I go high, low, you know, whatever I'm taking off. Trimming out any double leaders because that's just, you know, wasted growth. So yeah, I want you, I want you to hang out. Like I said, we're just kind of cutting around the tree, taking off the bottom a couple of years. So these are two two black hill spruce. You can kind of see that that was year one, and here was year two out in the transplant bed. And that's it. Um, I'm not really worried about the roots drying up in here. It's still very cool. It doesn't take that long to do this. And then they go back in their bags. You can kind of see in the background around here. I'm not doing any root pruning at this time. We'll do that uh, as we're out in the field. Kind of getting them ready to dip. Dip them out there, trim them a little bit to make them easier to deal with in the planter. And we're just trying to get all the little shoots off. You know, obviously bigger trees can take stuff up higher, but in general that's, that's about what we're looking for. And the ground level is about here or so. So this might be able to go a little bit more. After I'm done with this, I'll show you what some of the trees look like out in the field after a few years. And just hoping we don't have to go down and do this later in the rotation because that's be a whole lot harder to walk up and down the rows, bend over. I don't know what if you have the machine, the uh, weed whacker, the Bernanke, Benke, whatever it's called. I think they have a cutting tip that is meant for uprooting trees. There's that, and then there are some automatic ones, you know. Utec makes one, but Edco, that's how you say it, Edco. European companies, they do this a lot. And I guess if I had one of those machines, I wouldn't be doing this. So that machine is kind of a self-propelled, like it looks like a DR with a hydraulic motor and has kind of a drum that will trim off the bottom, bottom branches, just like what we're doing here. So that when the tree's a little bit older, a little more rigid, because right now that would probably take out the whole tree. 
but maybe one of the trees that are two, three feet, three, four feet tall. You'll go through with this machine and butt for it. So this one's a little shorter. I only took a little bit, a little less off. And when I picked up the trees yesterday from a couple of nurseries that we ordered from this year. And so I took today and I'm going to do this. He had a long day yesterday, so he's eating breakfast and taking a little nap and he'll be down later. Again, he lives here, so easy enough for him to take the side by side down the barn, do a little bit more of this. And hopefully this weekend we can get these all in the ground. That'll be fantastic. Some long roots, right? And this also helps untangle the trees before we plant them. Gives us a chance to inspect them. Not that I don't think we uh, discard any at this stage, but Well, here it is the process. because it's just added stress to an already stressed plant, right? You lifted it out of its ground, put it back in the ground. This is just added stress. But like I said, we haven't noticed any real big differences in our survival rates. And I think it's worth it. from outside, set them up, and how many people, they should me and dad eventually, but my kids and my wife will help do this, and sometimes we'll have you know, a couple big tables set up here, a little bit of music, chat, and the kids will be in and out, and you know, many hands make light work, so more people that help, the quicker this whole thing goes.
right, so we just wrapped up the rest of the spruce. Um, so what, four bags down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fifteen more to go. Um, yeah, so that's how we're doing this and kind of the why. Now let's take a walk out in the field and I'll show you the first year that we did this across the board on all of our fur, which would be our 2021 planting. So we'll head out and I'll show you what they look like now. All right, so behind me is our uh, 2021 planting. Um, we have some con color that are this way. One, two, three, four. So four rows of balsam, then another two rows of balsam, and then one, two, three, four, four or five rows of con color, and then there's like a little wedge that way that's all uh, canon. So I'll uh, kind of take the camera off and we'll take a look at what kind of the underneath looks like after they've been uh, butt pruned. So here we go. All right, kind of looking at the con color, you know, I don't remember how tall they were when we planted them, but you know, you can kind of see that you can actually get underneath the stumps a little bit with the directed spray. Some were probably taller, obviously. getting down perspective so obviously con color girl you know wonky weird <laughs> trying to figure them out until they get older so we'll move over to our balsam and we can kind of see that we have a nice pretty nice handles underneath a lot of these trees so that's the idea. So these are two years, 21. And there's two rows here of 21, and then we get back into what we planted in 22. Con color. Con color here. So just, you know, something we do on the farm. I think it helps. Lovely deer. All right. So yeah, that's what we do, why we do it, and the results. Uh, again, not a huge drastic difference in survival rates, so we're gonna stick with it. Just need to improve our weed control, but we're working every year on that. So yeah, all right, well, happy planning, and thanks for watching.